Let's talk about on, JD. energy level in the second half. You guys started out a little slow, but it seemed like you came out well in the second half. Uh, yeah, I think we did a pretty good job of that. And, um, we're you know, we're not perfect. You know, we didn't have a great start, but I think we, we did a pretty good job of playing defensively the whole game. And, um, we did a really good job of turning it up the second half. And, uh, um, and these guys off the bench did a great job coming in and playing defense. And uh, if we continue to keep doing that throughout the season, we'll be successful. Was that a situation where Coach Green had to get into you at, at halftime, or did you guys just pick up that on yourself? <laughs> yeah, just, we just picked it up. I mean, I mean, in order for us, for us to win, we had to fight through adversity. You know, like I said, it's the game of basketball. And, and the game of basketball has its ups and downs. It's not always going to be perfect. But, um, in order for you to be successful, you have to fight through adversity. I think we did a good job every time. How much did the, uh, the full court pressure in the first half look like Coach Green kind of went to that maybe get you guys picked up a little bit? Did that... Did that help? Did that kind of jumpstart the intensity a little bit? Uh, yeah, um, I think we did a good job of executing what we wanted to, what we wanted them to do in that press, and uh, we've been working on it in practice. And uh, I think we did a pretty good job of executing. And uh, hopefully, we just continue to keep working because you know there's some loose ends that we got to fix. But other than that, um, we were active, and that's the reason why we got um, the big lead and um, got uh, the energy and uh, where we wanted to be. There are a few specific things that caused the adversity that it just looked like you guys struggled to get in gear at certain points tonight. Uh, what did you perceive having caused that when you were out on the floor? Um, I mean, we just missed the shots, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't feel like we were unprepared to play the game or we came in second guessing ourselves or we were playing down to a competition or thinking about last game. but. I feel as though we just came in and we didn't make shots. Like I said, we're basketball players and everything we shoot is not going to go in the basket. Um, but I think we did a pretty good job of, uh, of bouncing back from that. And um, we just got to continue to keep playing for one another and playing at a high level. You guys have obviously talked in the last couple of years, especially about making defense kind of part of just sort of the overall team the profile or whatever you want to say. I mean, when shots aren't going down, is there just a comfort level in your defense that you just don't really worry about it? It doesn't affect you? Because you know that the defense is going to be there whether the shots are going down or not at this point. I want to answer the question. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, um, like I said before, I mean, um, you know, we, we, we put a big emphasis on defense uh, from the beginning of the year throughout the whole year. And, um, you know, defense wins games, you know, so we can't really rely on our offense though, too much. You know, because for us, you know, we, we score in transition and we score in multiple ways, but essentially we score off our defense. And um, we got to continue to keep playing defense at a high level, continue to keep helping each other so we can win big and win sufficient. Remy, how big is it that you guys have learned to play different styles the past couple of years so that early in the game it was kind of a grind, but you guys were able to go and you were able to play both styles without much of a problem? Yeah, I think it's something big. I mean, you know, we're not going to always play the style that we want to play, which is up and down. You know, teams like tonight's going to try to slow us down, do different things. But, you know, it helped when we played, you know, against Georgetown, teams like that. When we had to grind it out, you know, get a win in overtime, this stuff like that is going to happen. So, you know, we just got to keep fighting and uh, whatever, you know, whatever the team wants to bring, we got to be prepared, be ready, and, uh, you know, make adjustments and make adjustments on the fly and continue to grow. So how would you guys just overall evaluate your offense against the zone? I mean, beyond the fact that some shots just weren't falling, what did you feel like you guys did well against it? What do you think you struggled with against it? How did you guys kind of adjust throughout the day against it? Um, I mean, I think we did a great job of moving the ball. Um, you know, like I said, like Vic was saying, we didn't uh, we just missed some shots, but uh, they was open. But I think we did a great job moving the ball. Everybody did a great, great job of cutting, and uh, we just can't get stagnant against the zone. Uh, you know, the team, like I said, team is going to try to slow us down. We got to continue to push it. Push the tempo. Everybody just move without the ball, and uh, you know that's just something that we do. It's something that we do best. It's something we've been doing, been working on in practice. You know, move without the ball. Everybody sharing the ball, and just uh, you know playing together. So I definitely show it tonight. Jeff, what did you think of the way? What do you think of the lift that Victor gave you guys first six eight minutes of the second half? Yeah, I mean, and he started you know second half off with a dunk. <laughs> and right there, that was a huge lift, and that really that guy was going on the defensive end, and then we uh, you know got in the press and. Everything just started clicking. Everybody's moving, like he, like he said, being active, and everybody's got hands up. And you know, like I said, defense fuels offense. When you got the defense going, because offense is like road games. Offense is not going to come. You can't bring your offense, but you can definitely bring the defense. You can bring the defense, the hustle, the toughness, the boxing out, the rebounding. You can bring all that on the road, even at home. So offense ain't always going to be there. So definitely, 
like I said, defense to the offense. Okay, Ruby. Vic, when they were having trouble getting the ball in in the first half, did that, you know, I don't know, make you cheat a little bit more and try to get in the passing lanes thinking that you had a better chance to get some steals? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's hard to explain because, like, when, when I'm up there, I'm just anticipating. You know, I'm reading the, def I'm reading the offense guy, the dude who has the ball's uh, eyes and where he's looking. Because sometimes, you know, people look one way and pass another way. So you, you got to read, you got to read the situation. You know, I'm just, I'm kind of like reading how many dribbles and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of weird. It's, it's hard to explain. But when you're at the top of that zone, you got to, you got to make them think you're guarding them, but you're not guarding them. And, it, and I mean, I've been doing it for so long. I mean, we, we, we ran that press, in, uh, that press in high school as well. So I've been at the, at the top of presses since I can remember. So um, I'm glad he put me up there. You know, it's fun, you know, getting steals and, and um, you know, getting the crowd into it and getting my teammates ready, <coughs> ready to play defense. It's like uh, Remy was saying, defense wins games. Yeah. Jeremy and Remy, another, I guess, big scoring performance for the bench tonight. I mean, obviously you guys want to emphasize shot selection, but is, are, are you guys coming off the bench at this point just kind of expecting to score, expecting to, to immediately just kind of find an offensive rhythm, you and, and Will and the guys who come off the bench typically? Uh, I mean, we just want to come in and um, continue to push the tempo and bring energy <coughs> off the bench. I mean, we got a real deep team, a lot of uh, players on this team, deep bench. So, I mean, even when we go to the bench, we want to come in and play hard and uh, bring energy um, for the team and play to our abilities, play to our roles, and um, pretty much just bring energy to the team. How much fun is it for you guys when Jeff Howard comes in there and gets a couple buckets? <laughs> Jeff Howard is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jeff Howard helps us so much, whether it be in practice or in the locker room or on the road, he, he, he talks, you know, he, he's vocal, and um, he helps us win. I mean, you guys might not see it on the court. And for him to go in there and, and, and score, you know, it just, it, it fuels us, you know, it, gives us, it makes us happy. He's a part of our family. So um, to see him be successful like that is, is a great feeling that he's got his free throws. <laughs> Remy, it seemed like last year maybe you had some hesitation to take the outside shot. This year it seems like every time you, you're rising up, just confidence. What, I mean, what's maybe the biggest difference between last year and this year for you in that regard? Uh, in the gym, when I was a uh, gym rat, just being in the gym, teammates and coaches pushing me, stay in the gym, you know, get extra shots. You know, at least try to do something every day was, you know, getting two to three hundred shots up a day. You know, so I'm just, you know, out there just playing with confidence, just shooting the ball, trying to help my team win. And, uh, you know, when they leave me open, just trying to, just trying to knock it down with confidence. So, you know. Anything else for these guys? Do, do you guys just in general expect to see a lot more zone as teams try to keep the ball out of Cody's hands? And I guess what what from tonight do you think you can you know take and sort of learn from? I guess in terms of how you got to operate against that. Um, yeah, you know we, we we will expect more zone. We will see more zone. Um, but at the end of the day, we can still get the ball to Cody. Um, I feel as though if we move the ball and we get him in rotation, we'll still find a way to post Cody up and, and get Cody in certain places where he can make a play because he's a playmaker. So we just got to continue to keep going and keep working on it in practice and, and uh, you know, essentially perfect it so we can, you know, use it during games. Vic, what's your thoughts on Jeremy and the way he played today? Uh, Jeremy uh, gave us a big lift off the bench. Um, he's growing as a player, you know, and um, he's helping us win. You know, he's going to have to help us win now and down the road. And, um, you know, he's just going to continue to keep getting mature and keep growing. And um, without him, we can't win. And he knows that and we know that. So. Uh, we need him, and um, he's a great player, and he's going to be a really good player. And um, so, y'all better watch out. Last question, Jay. Hey, Vic, hey, when you come away from this game, you just won by 36. Do you feel mission accomplished and good about it, or do you guys in the locker room, was it like kind of, ooh, we didn't play very well? Or what's the feeling? I mean, we won, so I mean, we are happy with that, but at the same time, we, we know we had a slow start. And uh, in order for us to go, we, we have to go. We can't make that a consistency. And uh, we got to continue to keep going and, and having fast starts and, and uh, playing for one another and playing at a high level. And um, I think if we continue to keep doing that, we'll be successful. Okay. And so, journey.